Ever wondered who the oldest gods in Hindu mythology are and how they've evolved over time? Let's embark on a journey to the beginning, to the dawn of Hindu mythology. Our story starts with the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the world's oldest urban cultures. Here, we find the first seeds of Hinduism, a religion that would grow and evolve for thousands of years. Fast forward to the Vedic period, a time of profound spiritual exploration. It was during this era that the oldest known Hindu gods were worshipped. Gods like Indra, the king of heaven and the god of thunderstorms, Varuna, the custodian of cosmic order, and Agni, the god of fire, who acted as a messenger between humans and the divine. These deities were the pillars of early Hindu belief, each one representing fundamental aspects of life and the cosmos. From the mighty Indra to the fire god Agni, these early deities laid the foundation for what was to come. As centuries passed, the Hindu pantheon expanded, giving birth to a trio of supreme deities. This divine trio, known as the Trimurti, comprises Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, each holding a distinctive role in the cosmic cycle. Let's start with Brahma, the creator. He's the originator, the architect of the universe. In the grand scheme of existence, Brahma is the one who breathes life into the cosmos. He crafts the universe from the void, populating it with stars, planets and all forms of life. Every blade of grass, every creature that roams the earth and every star that twinkles in the night sky is a testament to Brahma's creative prowess. Next in line is Vishnu, the preserver. He ensures the universe, once created, continues to exist and function in harmony. Vishnu is often depicted as the protector, the one who maintains balance and order in the cosmos. He intervenes whenever the balance of good and evil tips, ensuring the universe's smooth functioning. Many a time, Vishnu descends to Earth in various forms or avatars to restore peace and order. Last, but certainly not least, is Shiva, the destroyer. But don't let the title mislead you. In the Hindu tradition, destruction is not seen as an end, but as a necessary process for rebirth and renewal. Shiva's role is to bring about change, to clear the old making way for the new. He is the force that allows for growth, evolution and transformation. Shiva in essence is the catalyst for the cosmic cycle of creation, preservation and destruction. The Trimurti in all their divine glory represent the cyclical nature of the universe according to Hindu beliefs. Without Brahma, there would be no creation. Without Vishnu, creation would descend into chaos, and without Shiva, there would be no room for new beginnings. They are the divine embodiment of the cosmic cycle, each playing their part in the grand narrative of existence. Through a myriad of tales and scriptures, the Trimurti became central figures, each playing a crucial role in the cosmic cycle. But what about the powerful female divinities that grace the annals of Hindu mythology? Indeed, the goddesses of Hinduism hold prominent roles and their influence is as profound as it is pervasive. Let's commence our journey with Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, music, arts and wisdom. Saraswati's arrival marked a new era of enlightenment as she is often invoked to stimulate intellectual growth and creative expression. Next, we encounter the radiant Lakshmi, the embodiment of wealth, prosperity and fortune. Lakshmi's advent brought about a significant shift in the spiritual landscape as she symbolizes the material and spiritual wealth that humans strive to attain. Her presence illustrates the Hindu belief that prosperity and spirituality can coexist harmoniously. Lastly, we turn our gaze to the formidable Parvati, the goddess of love, fertility and devotion. As the consort of Shiva, one of the Trimurti, Parvati is revered for her strength and her nurturing spirit. Her stories often highlight the power of love and devotion, reinforcing the importance of these virtues in the Hindu faith. Each of these goddesses, with their unique attributes and virtues, contribute significantly to the rich tapestry of Hindu mythology. Their stories and teachings continue to guide and inspire millions, offering wisdom and solace to those who seek it. These goddesses, revered for their power and wisdom, added a new dimension to Hindu mythology, scene script. From the grand cosmic deities, we now turn to the more earthly incarnations and demigods. The concept of avatars is a unique and profound aspect of Hindu mythology. An avatar, in essence, represents a divine being, a deity, choosing to descend to the earthly realm in a physical form. The purpose is often to restore balance and righteousness, to guide humanity or to vanquish evil. 
A prime example of this concept is the 10 avatars of Lord Vishnu, also known as the Dashavatara. Each avatar represents a different era and a different approach to tackling the challenges of that time. From the fish avatar of Matsya, rescuing the first man from a great deluge, to the warrior prince avatar of Rama embodying the ideal king and upholder of Dharma and onto the final avatar of Kalki prophesied to appear in the future when righteousness is forgotten, each avatar has a unique story and significance. Then we have the popular demigods like Hanuman, the monkey god known for his unwavering devotion to Lord Rama and Lord Ganesh, the elephant-headed god of wisdom and remover of obstacles. Their tales are woven with threads of courage, devotion, wisdom and love serving as moral compasses for humanity. These avatars and demigods, though less cosmic in their roles, continue to inspire millions with their tales of valor and devotion. From the ancient Vedic deities to the beloved avatars, Hindu mythology presents a rich tapestry of divine beings. It's a vibrant journey that started with the elemental gods of the Rig Veda, transcending to the enigmatic Trimurti, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, each embodying creation preservation and destruction respectively. The advent of the goddesses brought forth a divine feminine energy with deities like Saraswati, Lakshmi and Durga symbolizing knowledge, wealth and power. And not to forget the era of avatars and demigods where the divine descended to the earthly realm, embodying virtues and lessons for humanity. From the compassionate Rama to the playful Krishna, each avatar has its unique narrative. This evolution and diversity in Hindu mythology aren't just an exploration of divinity, it's a reflection of the cultural, philosophical and spiritual richness of Hinduism itself. Every god, every goddess, every avatar has a story to tell, a lesson to impart. Such is the fascinating world of Hindu mythology.